Hey everybody, Paul Van Dunk from Pace Performance and Consulting, welcoming you to another episode of UF Pro Gears Instructor Series. This time I got to talk about a little bit with the guys, recoil management on the pistol. All right guys, so we noticed when we were talking about the recoil management technique, I took a five round base, baseline from everybody, got an idea how everybody was managing recoil. What I like to do as an instructor is watch those things, then look at the targets, see if there's any kind of deviation going on. One of the most important things for me is that one-on-one -on -one contact and that one-on-one -on -one interactions with the student. One of the things that we can do when addressing this student is make sure that their grip is in the right place, they're driving the firearm correctly, and they have the, right, the correct amount of tensions on the right areas of the handgun. Now, here's the thing about this. This is very dependent on, one, what firearm we're using, and two, most importantly, the individual operating that firearm. Not everyone has the same strengths, hand size, and body type. That being said, that personal one-on-one -on -one approach is one of the things I really like. All right, guys, we're gonna go five shots hard and fast real quick. Hard and fast meaning fast as, we, fast as we're able, not as fast as we can. So fast as we're able to get our hits. Uh, hard, meaning we're gonna grip that gun really tight, make sure we're driving into it. This is just for me to see you guys shooting, assess, I'll come by and we'll kind of talk about maybe any weak points or anything we can sure strengthen up. Easy day. Get him. All right, cool. All right, so we'll start down here with Mike. Um, so one of the things that we have to focus on when we're shooting, we want to return a gun to its point of origin is we got to imagine like a laser, right? We want to keep eye contact with our, with, depending on what you're using. Obviously we're using a dot here, right? So if I'm using a dot, my, far, my, my focus is on the target, not on the front sight. If I'm running an iron sight, obviously my focus is on the front iron sight. So in the case that we're running the gun here, I want the gun to return as fast as it possibly can back to its point of origin. So if we demonstrate that real quick, uh, if uh, like a loose grip, you ever notice someone shoot and then they'd settle the gun back in? We don't want to do that. We want to drive into the gun and return the gun to the point of origin as fast as we possibly can. So that comes into driving the gun. So when I want to drive into the gun, sometimes you hear that term and it's not really explained, but for me it was explained and I like to teach it as locking my wrist out, not allowing, not allowing any movement in my wrist and both wrists work together uh, in continuity. So. If, I'm got a, if I have a loose grip on the gun and I fire the shot and I don't have any kind of drive into the gun, the muzzle goes up and then it comes back down, right? What I'd like to do is drive into that gun and maybe add a little bit of a twist. That way when that second shot is ready, that second shot is really close to the point of origin from the other one. I'm shooting sighted. Um, what the cool thing about this is once we develop this technique, the faster we go, the easier it is for us to either track the dot or track the front sight. So let's give that a try. Take the gun out for me. Just aim at the target. I'm gonna adjust two things real quick. Um, what I'm gonna say is here, I want you to take your grip and uh, give me this hand real quick. I'm gonna shake your hand. I want you to stop me from twisting your hand. That's the pressure I want you to add to both hands while you're gripping it and then don't let me do this, just like that, good. Now give me three or four, just like that. Perfect. How's that feel? Good. Making sense? Yeah. All right, cool. You go ahead and draw the gun and aim at the target for me. Cool, finger off the trigger. Give me this hand. Shake mine, stop me from turning it. Cool, now stop me from twisting it. Cool, apply that to the gun. And I don't want you to let me do this, but I remember to add that twist. When you add the twist, I don't want it from the elbow. I want it from the wrist forward, okay? I like to think of it like this. I'm, I'm, I'm adding all my energy to the gun like I'm in the push-up position, right? So I don't get, I, I can't do push-ups like this, right? I gotta do push-ups like this. So that's where my strength comes from. Give me three like that. Way flatter. How'd that feel? You want to give me three more? Looking real good. All right, awesome. Whole strip. Can you uh, index target for me? Cool. I'm gonna check this. I know you're pretty good. Let me see this hand. All right, so stop me from turning your hand. And now stop me from driving your hand. Apply that to the other hand. Both hands at the same time, not from the elbow, but from the wrist. Twist into the gun up to here, and then keep that constant drive. Give me three to four like that. Up to you. Give me three more. Looking real tight. All right, awesome. Cool, looking good. So what I'd say here is the shoulder positioning looks good. Um, this could be a little bit tighter. Let me see this hand. So what I normally do is to show someone, I'll drive their arm like this and say, hey, stop me, right? Okay. And then I'll twist and be like, okay, hey, stop me from twisting. Then I'll have them apply that to both hands. So not like the ring out the towel technique, but 
I'm getting on the gun, I'm applying those techniques, and I'm driving into the gun right there. Give me three or four like that, keeping your eye on the target, not the dot. How's that feel? Good. And it, what happens is if you're going below or above, we can adjust tension. If we go left to right, we can adjust tension. So if I'm shooting at the target and my gun goes this way or this way, I have to, I have to counteract those inputs, right? All right, give me three more. See how flat that gun is while it's operating, guys? That's what we want to see because, I mean, you guys are always saying time, time is life, right? If that's the case, then I want my follow-ups to be as fast as they, they, they can be, not as fast as I'm able. Because able may bring me off target. Fast as I can is going to keep me right where I need to be. Cool? Awesome. So as you guys noticed, the recoil management techniques of all the shooters wasn't bad at all. Minor tweaking had to be done. With those minor tweaks, sometimes we can get better follow-up shots. Sometimes it ends up, well, making us a little bit faster, whether it be to the dot on the follow-up or whether it be just controlling everything going on. We're dealing with a lot of control chaos when the firearm goes off. One of the things that we can do when we're operating the gun is consider how we're driving into it, which is what we explain to pretty much everybody on the range. Specifically, one of the things I like to focus on is the way we drive the gun, keeping the wrist locked out, and then maybe even adding a little bit of a twist. What this does for me, at least, is it helps isolate the direction of the firearm cycle. So instead of it going up and maybe to the weak spot to the left or right, I get to adjust those tensions to make sure it's tracking where I want it to be. Now, this isn't something that someone can pick up over one day or two days. It's something that has to be implemented into your fundamentals from the ground up. Once you understand and learn the techniques of driving the gun or those recoil management techniques and applying them every time you go to the range, it becomes second nature. Most important things we can take away from this is always can have a little adjustment to your recoil management technique to make those follow-ups a little bit faster and sometimes it takes that second pair of eyes to see the faults in your grip whether it be the display on your target because that's history those rounds are already downrange and we can't get them back but what we can do is focus on the next set we send with that recoil management technique i have found for the vast majority of students it helps them stay on track and stay on target so to wrap this all up in a nice tight little bow, I really feel the need to, again, emphasize that there is no blanket technique that's gonna help everyone or be beneficial to everyone. However, there are techniques that are fundamental that can really help empower you and your shooting to stay on track and on target. The way that we teach driving the gun and those index points on the firearm really helps faster follow-up and recovery of our shots. When it comes to the speed aspect of shooting, this is where we get to really rock and roll with the gun and that grip and that recoil management technique will definitely help you stay on track and stay on target. See you on the range.